Hey Bob, can you check if I've received any letters from my subscribers? Sure, just a minute. Y yeah, you, you had a, a few, few letters. Oh really? How many? Uh, 115 letters. So this is the first mail time ever on this channel. Now, let me remind you how this works. You can send me a letter, and in that letter you can ask me three types of questions. First of all, you can ask me to do a short challenge, like um, how fast can you eat 10 hamburgers? Or you could ask me a weird question, like how many needles can you fit in a pumpkin? And then you can also ask me a research question. You know, if you want a scientific answer to a specific question like, which is better, static or isometric stretching? Sophia from Portugal. Okay, this is already dedication. Look, it is a, it's a leaflet that clearly states that it's gonna be a weird Question. I like that. You ready? So, elephant, yes, an elephant, just fell from the sky. Be careful, drink a glass of water. And now what? What will you do? You eat some bread with butter. You take a selfie with a skirt. Good luck. You take a selfie with a skirt. Skirt. Are elephants scared of skirts? I'm already totally clueless. I have no idea. It's a happy banana. Nina from Norway. Really like your content. I actually learned to juggle with three balls. Good for you. My challenge to you is therefore that you learn to juggle with four balls. So as you might know, um, I can uh, juggle three balls. I learned it in my past video. But juggling four balls requires a totally different technique. Basically, each hand is juggling two balls. And I have no idea how to do that. But it is on my to learn list. Sarah from California. Break a wine glass using sound. <laughs> like singing. <laughs> well, I can try. You can actually, you can actually feel the vibration in the glass. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so cool if I could just break this? <laughs> so, Kadir from Turkey. How tall can a human be? This here is Robert Watlow, and he holds the record for the tallest human who has ever lived. He was 271 centimeters tall, or 8 foot 11. According to experts, 9 feet is probably the maximum height a human being can ever achieve. Because at that point, blood pressure in your legs would be extreme and dangerous. And also, keeping blood circulating in such a person would strain the heart to the breaking point. This is from Australia. From Todd. Super duper. Attempt to lick your elbow. So often people try to lick their elbow by lifting their elbow right here and then going from here to the elbow, but uh, that's apparently not the best technique. I watched a video on YouTube and someone told that this is a lot better technique. You pull your shoulder in, twist it, and then look. Ah, oh, but yeah, I, I can't do it. Alex from Illinois. Hey Johnny Green, but I'm Why can't cows walk downstairs? Actually, cows can walk downstairs. It's just very difficult for them to do that. They struggle with walking downstairs because the incline and structure of stairs are not found in nature and are tailored for human leg proportions. Marike from the Netherlands. Can you do the push-up challenge to the song Flower by Moby? Oh yeah, the push-up challenge. I do think that my chances of uh, succeeding are extremely low, but hey, it's a good workout anyways. Uh, the music is gonna come here, so you can't hear anything, you know, copyrights and that stuff. But uh, the song is three minutes and 28 seconds long, if I remember correctly. So you can just see how far I get in the challenge. Okay, here we go. So that was two minutes out of a three and a half minutes. 
I think this is from Marie from France. How long can a human survive without eating? This is Angus Barbieri. He didn't eat anything for 382 days. He did take some vitamins and he was allowed to drink coffee, tea and sparkling water. But fasts like these can be extremely dangerous. For instance, researchers have found that after about six weeks, people start to enter a danger zone. And by eight weeks, people are at risk of sudden death by heart failure. Isabella from Slovenia. I would like to see you speaking different accents. So I'm not uh, very good at speaking with accents, but if there is one accent I can uh, speak pretty pretty well, it uh, must be the, the Finnish accent. This is from China. <laughs> if you know this place, please comment below. I challenge you to say the first word that you think of. Nipple. Tom from the UK. Why are you studying international business management? Well, that's actually a really good question. I think my original reason for choosing that degree was that it offered an exchange year and I really wanted to go on uh, exchange in the US, which I did. But now that the exchange year has ended, I mean, I'm not really interested in uh, the topic of my degree because I've found that I'm more interested in what the human body can do and about creating content. So at this point, I'm just trying to, you know, finish the degree because my family has paid so much money for me to get the degree. But after that, I'm just gonna, you know, go full YouTube, so. What's the longest time someone has played ping pong with themselves? This is James Nielsen. He holds the record for most consecutive rally hits on one side of a table tennis table. Table tennis table, well, wherever. In this video, he plays against a wall for 50 minutes. So this might be the longest time anyone has ever played ping pong by themselves. Laura from Germany. Learn a real kickflip with a skateboard. I mean, I can already do that. I need a letter opener. This is not working. Johan from France. What is the best supplement for triathlon? Before we start talking about supplements, it's good to keep in mind that uh, supplements really provide just really marginal gains. And that's why usually they're only useful or they make a difference for athletes that are performing at a really, really high level, like elite athletes that really need those marginal gains to differentiate themselves from, from other elite athletes. But it's not really something that beginner or even intermediate athletes should be thinking about but uh, there's a uh, comprehensive review on that triathlon show podcast episode 193 now there are different kinds of supplements but i'm just going to be focusing on supplements that directly improve sport performance and there aren't that many the first one is caffeine it has been shown to increase time to exhaustion and has improved time trial activities of varying durations from 5 to 150 minutes across numerous exercise modalities and the protocol for taking caffeine is to take three to six six milligrams per kilogram of body weight 60 minutes before exercise or racing and the other performance enhancing supplement is nitrate it has been associated with improvements of 4 to 25 percent in time to exhaustion and the protocol is to supplement with 310 to 560 milligrams two to three hours before activity finally it has been shown that creatine is beneficial for athletes but the main benefits are for power and strength athletes wow this is from uh... Miguel from Barcelona. I challenge you to come up with a way to juggle grapes while you land one in your mouth every juggling round. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any grapes, but I did find cheese cubes. No! <laughs> How do I continue? I got two out of three. I think that's enough. Lena from Germany. I just recently assembled up on your channel. Is there cat food with mouse flavor? Well, I found this highly credible website called Reddit and they have uh, actually done some studies looking at the question why there is no cat food with mouse flavor. And one scientist concluded that cats don't hunt mice because they prefer the flavor, they just hunt anything smaller than them. And moreover, they rationalized that they'd also totally eat us if they could, which was later confirmed by another scientist who said, I can confirm mine tries to do so on a regular basis. This is a thick package. Maybe someone's sending me a stack of money. Why are you laughing? Maybe I'm, I'm getting rich. 
tiny book included. I think uh, she made this notebook herself. That's that's cool. This is Lisa from Austria. Hey Johnny, I just watched your latest video of you were sending all those. For how long can you hold your breath? held my breath up for over two minutes. I'm actually getting really excited about this because uh, so this is a website for like free divers and these people um, train free divers to hold their breath. They're saying here that if you can already uh, hold your breath for over two minutes with a month of practice you could probably hold your breath for five minutes. Maybe that should be one of my uh future challenges. So uh, that was the first mail time. A huge thank you to everyone who sent me a letter, I really appreciate it. And if you still haven't sent a letter, or even if you have sent a letter, if you have a question for me, uh, there's an address below where you can send uh, letters. Thank you. That's all I really have at this point. But you know, because we need to have a 25 second end screen, I might just as well be speaking here for for a bit longer so that you know you can uh, see whether the videos that just popped on the screen would be of interest to you or whether you know maybe you want to comment or maybe you want to give the video a like or maybe even subscribe but uh, any moment now this video will end